Yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? We are back again, yeah, with Justin's Pro Football Draft Breakdowns. And we're going to pick it up where we left off yesterday um, with the 2020 mock NFL draft. Um, the New Orleans Saints on the clock with selection number 24. And with that pick, they pick... K. Levon Chase on LSU outside linebacker, four and a half star. Um, we'll get into this player breakdown right now. All right. Um, let's see. His eyes are elite, keeps eyes in backfield, reads and reacts quickly. His hand place, his hands and his hand placement are good. He needs to improve at the next level with his hand placement, not get too wonky with his arms and keep his pop inside. Um, other than that, his hands are strong, and when he does get it right, it looks good. Um, his feet are great. Short air quickness is is excellent. Excellent change of direction as well. This dude can move and drop on a on a dime, move the other way. Um, his speed is elite. He's one of the fastest um, outside linebackers in this draft at his position. Uh, I bet you he ends up clocking around somewhere. And I don't even know, 460, 459. I don't want to go too crazy. Um, his strength and power is above average. He'll need to bulk up at the next level and get into a training program to get a little bit stronger at the point of attack. Um, his agility is excellent. He can move sideline to sideline. Like I said, this dude can fly. He plays with his hair on fire. Speed off the snap is decent. If he times it up right, it's effective. So he can improve that at the next level as well. Polish moves, um, speed, spin, and gets skinny. So he has those three, and he needs to improve at the next level and add some counter move into some of his stuff if he can. Um, his pop contact is okay. He needs to improve at the next level. Um, he can get stronger, like I was saying, and his pop contact can become better. Um, actually, will probably form from his lower legs because that's where all the power is going to come from. His tackling, he's a good tackler. He tackles a little high at times and um, can lose his tackle from doing so if he uh, doesn't proper, or uh, excuse me, practice proper technique and form tackling and he, his mechanics get lazy, then that's what will happen. Um, his block shedding is above average. He likes to get skinny to win, needs to use his hands and arms more. At the next level, he's going to have to improve it. He's physical, good, has the body to do more. He can do more with his body and his size. Um, his pad level is average. He plays a little high sometimes. Like I said, he's so tall that it, you know he's doing the best he can. Um, he's going to have to do better at the next level. His leverage is decent. When, he, uh, when tech gets lazy, he can get manhandled. So when his technique gets lazy and compromised down he goes um his contact balance is great plays tough won't get pushed around so he plays centered his football iq is high smart player pass or run he squeezes the line of scrimmage on run stays home he likes to squeeze down the line of scrimmage like most of these good um, outside linebacker edge rushers will just to stay home and uh, squeeze that edge down and uh, set the edge um, I didn't see him jump around very too much. Here's what I have written up on him. Able to translate power to speed. Tall, lean, athletic. More bend and speed than power. Uh, think fits a 3-4 better than a 4-3. He will uh, fake the blitz and then drop off. He likes to do that or they like to do that with him at LSU. Explosive. Moves like a corner. Tackles like a linebacker. Can cover a little bit downfield, which he can. He's great in the flats. He can cover... Um, running backs he can cover tight ends um, he uses solid technique and mechanics as a football player um, he could get manhandled by big offensive linemen like I was saying but it doesn't it's pretty rare um, he mostly wins with speed um, that's my breakdown on chase on um, please like and subscribe to the channel um, we're trying to gain some uh, some steam and some momentum to keep things rolling here and we'll continue on with the next on the clock will be the Minnesota Vikings at uh, selection number 25. All right, deuces. See you on the next one.